Welcome inside the lab. Over the course of this season, fans have witnessed Derrick Rose twist and contort in some pretty ridiculous ways when going to the basket. Rose to the basket, reverse, backs it in. Next back up by one. Today we take a closer look at just what goes into number 25, finding these preposterous angles, and why he finishes the reverse layup better than anyone else in the NBA. Let's, for this experiment, focus on what he does when he's airborne. As Rose takes off five feet from what he thinks is his destination, the left side of the glass, he realizes that the big man is not going to allow that. So the contortionist, as only he can do, calls an audible in midair and decides instead he will finish on the right side of the glass, which is now seven feet from his original launching pad. To do so, not only does the guard have to hang in the air for .5 seconds, but he also has to apply enough spin on the ball to hit the glass and reverse the momentum he's created going the other way. In this case, that was at the rate of almost four rotations a second. Truly amazing. Sensational reverse for Derrick Rose. What else makes D. Rose so tough when attacking the glass? The speed in which he does it. Looks to push. Rose off to the race as it breaks it in. In this next layup from another universe, D. Rose catches the ball exactly at midcourt with 4.7 seconds left. He's to the dotted line in 1.6 seconds, coverage of 34 feet or moving at 14 and a half miles per hour when he takes liftoff. Going straight at the basket would be too easy, however, so he turns 155 degrees in midair and finishes with 1.8 seconds on the clock, meaning all of that only took 2.9 seconds to complete, start to finish, over the course of 41 feet, seven of it covered in the air. Between being half race car and half Gumby, Derrick Rose can finish at the rim, or under it for that matter, in a style that not many can match. Check out more breakdowns in the lab on Nix.com.